Hi, my name is Stephen Rafferty, and you're watching These Are Questions. This is the internet show where I ask people questions about things, life, and such not. In today's episode, it's a little different. Because usually I ask people about their careers and aspirations and their goals, and I mix in a bunch of random and stupid questions. But today I'm with the lovely Selena. That's me. Mm -hmm. And uh, the reason why we're doing this particular interview is because when I originally pitched the show online, I made an open casting call for anyone that wants an interview and wants to be part of the show. It just makes it sound like I was just looking for stardom, though. Maybe you were. Who knows? I don't know the true intentions. I'll remember you. No one ever does. <laughs> but, regardless, she tweeted at me, at Real SR Rafferty, asked me about cartoons. And when you ask something, you shall receive something. So, I'm going to ask Selena a series of questions that are going to be random and somewhat idiotic, but they're going to be based around cartoons. So, with that, Selena, yes. are you ready? No, but I mean, you're going to start anyway, so... That's the answer I like to hear. <laughs> Internet, are you ready? We've been doing this for an entire season. I don't know if they're, if they're going to be saying yes or no. I have no idea at this point, but we're going to assume it's a yes. Just don't close the video, that's all. Please. Please don't, please don't. <laughs> My life depends on it. Oh, oh, I felt that one. Okay. With that, let's begin. Bonjour, Selena. Comment allez-vous? Eh... Voulez-vous un omelette à fromage de Dexter's Laboratory? Oui. Yeah. High school French paid off. Yes. 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 I want a cheese omelette. Yes. From Dexter's Lab. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. I, I. Yes. Yeah. High school French really did pay off. Oh God. Okay. We've known each other for a couple of years. Yeah. And one of the recent things that we did together is that we actually went to go see the Rick Mobile from mm -hmm. Rick and Morty. We did. So I wanted to ask about your experience about the event and us going over there and just the things that happened, you know? And also I wanted to ask, which is your favorite Rick and Morty episode? Oh God. Um, well, the minute you say that, automatically the Meeseeks come to mind because I feel like I can see myself in the Meeseeks because they're a huge existential mess. Mm. And I think that's very relatable. But in terms of with the Rickmobile, that was actually really impromptu. We didn't actually planned that very rigidly we were kind of just like hey this is happening let's go and it was actually for a lot of the instead of miami so i think that made it a lot more convenient so we did go to tate's um i showed up an hour early and there were already about 300 people in the line when i texted you mm -hmm. and i did not expect that kind of turnout even though i knew how popular rick and morty was and when i saw that line there was like the part of me that was like usually would be like oh you know maybe we shouldn't do this maybe it's not that big a deal but for some reason that just didn't exist it was just like i'm going to stand in this line just to get a picture with some kind of weird automobile that apparently replicates this amazing cartoon character so i think if that doesn't say how passionate i am about cartoons i don't know what will but it was a really cool experience um we got some merch i still have my rick and morty t-shirt to this day still kind of sad that i didn't have the um the gun mm, but yeah. it's okay and no, I just think it was really cool overall. It was really interesting. Yeah, it was really cool. But we waited for over three hours. Really? Yeah, we didn't. We got there at like four and we didn't see the Rickmobile until like nine. So it was already dark when we got our pictures. And I remember specifically there was a guy that came the day before and he had camped? a tent. And he was the first one. He camped the night before. Oh, they had a TV. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they remember? had a TV. He had a TV. What if he had cable on that TV? Maybe it was interdimensional cable. That's my favorite episode of Rick and Morty. Besides that and Pickle Rick, those are my two favorites. Pickle Rick was good. It's, my, it's more of my favorites because of the speech of the psychiatrist. That monologue. Oh, no. It's amazing. That is a that is a monologue that shook me. Oh, I never really thought about it, but now you have me thinking, like, I need to go back and watch that episode just to see how intense it was. It wasn't even intense. It's just the, what she was saying and how it was done. And from an acting standpoint, I would love to use that for monologues. And even though I can't, you're not supposed to, but I would. At a psychologist's office in a strip plaza. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So I'm going to uh, partially sing and also quote different cartoons. And all I want you to do is just to tell me which cartoon it is. Oh, that's stress. Okay. Don't don't worry. Don't worry. It's okay. If, if you get it wrong, get it wrong. If you get it right, you get it right. And you then just... I lose my reputation as a cartoon connoisseur. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Then there's a lot of pressure then. Okay. Okay. Mm. What's up, Doc? Bugs Bunny. 
Correct. I would also took Looney Tunes, but that's correct as well. Oh my god! I really want to say Robert's Modern Life, but it's not. Ha! Want to take one more guess? I'm just, I'm like, I hear the theme song in my head, and I can't tell what it is. What is this? It is Doug. Stop doing it! Ow! Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> no, but I knew it was like old time Nickelodeon. I just couldn't remember which cartoon for some reason. Oh. Obtuse, rubber goose, green moose, guava juice, giant snake, birthday cake, large fries, chocolate shake. Odd parents, barely off parents. <laughs> I'm too fair. confident with them, but yes, fairly odd parents. There you go. Correct. <laughs> okay. All right. The next one. Hey there, boys and girls. It's your old pal, Stinky Whizzleteats. And I have a song for you. It's a song about a whale. No, it's a song about being happy. And it goes something like this. Happy, happy, joy, joy. 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 Happy, happy, joy, joy, joy. Oh my God, where is that from? I have no clue. No clue. It is from a show called Ren and Stimpy. It is one of their most popular episodes of the season of the series. You're gonna make me like go back home and just like binge all of these '90s cartoons because mm. I'm stressed now. Mm-hmm. Oh, they have the splat now. You can watch all '90s Nickelodeon shows. Oh, thank you. So you can check that out. This is just an undirect shout out there. <laughs> I have one more show. All right. The last one is this. Screw you guys! I'm going home. I want you to respect my authority. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, I feel personally attacked, but I'm really trying to think what that is. Give me a hint. Which network is it from? It is. Oh. Hello? <laughs> Guess it's gonna be part of the Phone show a now. Phone a friend! Hello? Oh, this is a scam call. You're not gonna help me with the show. They could have helped me answer. But the, the, it's the tell. It's the. Telemarketer? Yeah. Okay. They wouldn't help me there. Well, alas, I cannot tell. What was that? Um. Well, I'll give you the hint. It was. It's just. It's on Comedy Central. Okay. Oh wait, is it South Park? Oh, there we go. That is. Okay. That is Cartman. That is the voice of Cartman. He said those lines before. I was thinking about like little kids cartoons. I didn't get that far, but thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. So not bad. Three, three, three out of five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll take it. If you had a chance to go into a cartoon world. Oh. Which cartoon would you go into and why? Oh my god. I'm torn a little bit between either Chalk Zone or Regular Show. Regular Ooh. Show for the sake of it being so relatable and so normal, but then it also has really psychedelic, far-fetched ideas in it where you can have that balance. But Chalk Zone, is just, you can do anything in Chalk Zone with a piece of chalk. It's true. Anything. So I can be a millionaire in Chalk Zone. That's a good card. That's a good. That's a good answer. Seriously, that's a. I'm impressed with both those answers there. <laughs> Would you ever consider anime a style or form of cartoon? Hmm. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna offend someone. Um, I would, based on if you're looking at it objectively as like a certain type of art form, because it is two dimensional television. But then if you start breaking it down into those subcategories, then it's like our shows like Rick and Morty, Futurama, The Simpsons, are those actually cartoons or adult entertainment versus like cartoons being like for kids being like SpongeBob and the Fairly Odd Parents and stuff like that. So in that sense, I would say anime is because of the sense of style that it has, mm -hmm. but it is an entire genre in itself. Okay. Because it can be broken down further into like their animation style, what kind of technique they use, that kind of thing. It is a different genre in itself, but you can consider it as, in, as a somewhat of a style of cartoon. But I want to follow up with that. Since you say that, would you consider Cory in the House as the greatest anime of all time? Yes. You heard it here. Cory in the House is the greatest anime of all time. Cory son. <laughs> <laughs> Proceed. Okay. So one of my favorite cartoons is Ed and Eddie. Yes. And um, besides Tom and Jerry, Tom and Jerry is my all time favorite. Number right. one, cartoon violence in itself. Going back to Ed and Eddie. Yes. Um, which out of the three Eds, which Ed would be best fit your personality and why? Who? I want to say Eddie. And I want to also make sure that Eddie's the little one. Yes. Yes. I would say Eddie. So we're going to get a little fake deep here for a second. Because I feel like Eddie's so loud and he takes up like this natural like role as a leader. But he's also pretty schemish underlying. Like, 
I can be a little skeevish sometimes. I think it's human nature. And he's also a little misunderstood. Like, people just think he's super annoying. Like, he got beat up like by his brother all the time. All those things. But I think he was actually one of the smartest kids of, like, that entire block. So, I'm one of the smartest kids on this entire block. So, mm. I relate. I can say Eddie's like a hustler, you he know? Is. He He's a modern-day entrepreneur if you really think about it. It's just that his tactics are somewhat unethical if you think about it in the grand scheme of things. Aren't they all? Wow. Well. Wow. Well. I don't know. I have to ask Double D because that fits more my personality. I've been very nurtured, good well-being. But I also have elements of Eddie, and I have elements of Ed too because I like butter toast. Everyone likes butter toast, don't they? I hope so. Oh. If you don't, then we're gonna have some problems. If you know what I'm saying. You know. What's your all-time favorite quote from a cartoon? Huh. <laughs> that was like the bad sound effect for it, but. <laughs> The inner machinations of my mind are an enigma. <laughs> oh, 100%. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Completely. I want you to name your top five favorite cartoons. Okay. SpongeBob SquarePants, ultimate favorite. It never changes. Regular show. The Simpsons. Archer. Ooh, okay. I really do like Archer. And just because I still consider it a cartoon in my head, I don't know if a lot of people do it, the Peanuts. It's a classic cartoon. It's a classic it still cartoon, holds right? up to this day. Yeah. Like it's still really good. Like I would, I willingly bought my own ticket and everything to go see the Peanuts movie in theaters. It's a good movie. So it, it is. It, it really encapsulated like the actual Peanuts like essence. So I think yeah, the Peanuts. I love Snoopy. Yeah, who doesn't? So people who don't like dogs. Those people are horrible. They're just people. I know SpongeBob SquarePants is your number one favorite all-time show, and you would kill me if I didn't ask you any questions about SpongeBob. I will fight anyone who does not appreciate SpongeBob. I can understand the mid-seasons when they went a little off the rails. I will give you that. But recently, the writers came back. They're actually really good. Yeah, it's 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 like The Simpsons, where it's had like twenty plus seasons or whatever, and you know it's had its ups and downs as with any show, but it still has a even with the newer stuff. There's still a level of Spongebob, I guess, Squarepants-esque, still a wrap from the original stuff. Yeah, I don't think it, I don't think you can encapsulate the original uh, sh episodes because it was a different time and just yeah. it was a lot more, in a sense, creative in certain endeavors, but it's still, it's still, there's a reason why it's still there, you know? So that says a lot to it. But my question with Spongebob is, which is your favorite all-time Spongebob episode and which is your favorite quote from the show? From that specific episode? Not even from... No. Just the it, show in general. The show in general. So, episode... Frank and Doodle. Okay. Frank and Doodle's a good one. And Pizza Delivery is also a really good one. Mm -hmm. But I don't have a favorite line necessarily, but I do have a bit that I abuse over and over, even out of context. And it's the bit when they go to sell chocolate to the two old ladies. <laughs> so, I literally can do it all by myself. And it's just... To me, it's the funniest thing, but no one ever appreciates it. Would you like to do it here on the show? I have to try to remember it. Um, I'll give you the mic. Oh. See? So let's see. Oh, okay. They're selling what? Chocolates! What? What are they selling? They're selling chocolates! What? Chocolates! Oh, chocolate. I remember chocolate. Sweet, sweet chocolate. I always hated it. Oh, but this chocolate's not for eating. You, you rub it on your skin and it makes you live forever. Live forever, you say? I'll take one. And that's usually what gets me laughing, but no one ever appreciates it. I appreciate it. Thank you. And the whole internet hopefully appreciates it as well. <laughs> I hope you edit that well enough where I don't look like a raging lunatic. <laughs> we'll be good. It's going to be all in editing and post-production because that's what we do here. Mm -hmm. All right. My last question to you mm -hmm. is if you had the chance to reboot a cartoon, which cartoon would it be and why? That's that's a thinker. I want to say, just because it is the first thing that comes to mind, it's not a cartoon, but it was a short film, and I would like to see them remake it. Steamboat Willie. Mm. The little animation they always put at the beginning of Disney movies now. Because I feel like kids nowadays don't understand where that came from. And the fact that I think we come from a generation, like 90s kids at least, where you had that benefit of being able to watch like really old cartoons and like grow up seeing these new cartoons develop. But kids now are only familiar with like what they see on the internet or what they see on TV nowadays. And Steamboat Willie was just so adorable. And there's so many old Disney cartoons and Nick cartoons that aren't appreciated anymore just because 
they aren't around like on the internet or something like that. So I would like to see them remake it so kids could understand like why they stick in Mickey whistling driving a boat. So. Yeah, I, I absolutely agree with that because without Steamboat Willie and other um, specifically Disney cartoons from that era, a lot of animation studios wouldn't even be necessarily around. It played a such. It, it, I can't even fathom the influence that those shows did for modern times now. And the fact that you even mentioned that is is quite impressive just because a lot of people don't really talk about it as much oh, as they should. Too. And I think that's something also that you see kind of in... There was that one video game with Mickey. I think it was like Epic. Paint. Epic Mickey? Ep- Epic right. Mickey. And they show you the entire backstory of like Oswald the rabbit. And he's such a forgotten character because Mickey Mouse is what got so popular. And I love Mickey. I love Disney World and everything. It's just characters like Oswald, they lose their essence because no one remembers them. Go out and buy a little Oswald the Lucky Rabbit plush. They're adorable. I will soon have one in my hands. We should. We have to go find it now. Yeah. It's on Amazon, I think. Probably. What yeah. is it on Amazon? Um, uh, I... Well, my stuff's on Amazon, but oh, yeah, my books are on Amazon available now. It's on Amazon.com. Buy my two books, 50 Ridiculous Drawings and Funny Sayings and Less Than 50 Pages and Young Face Stories and Other Awkward Tales. I think you're going to like it. It's good books. good books. Look at my watch that I don't have right now. I don't have one either, but would you look at the time? It's it's nice. It's, it's from Dubai. Oh. I've in- never been to Dubai, but it's from Dubai. International. With that, our time has ended unfortunate well if we could do more episodes i would do more stuff you know selena thank you so much for being a part of the show my pleasure i always appreciate it and uh i don't i know you are kind of just friend and also fan and you know someone who likes the show but i don't know if you want anything you want to plug in usually that's why i usually ask as a segue for the end of the show with the guests but uh for you specifically i mean you, i mean you don't have to for your stuff if you have anything if there's any you want to ah. promote i don't i don't know I, I'm not doing anything specific. I, I'm kind of just under the radar with this personality. But, you know, if there are any modeling scouts out there, hey, I'm 5'10". But, no, honestly, support Raph as much as you can. He's an amazing guy, an amazing friend. And ever since the first time we met playing Super Smash Bros. together on one very... Incoincidental? Uncoincidental? Um... It was a rare day. And so ever since then, like, he's one of the best friends that I have. He's really creative, really interesting. Please keep supporting his stuff. Thank you. There you go. Alrighty. So with that, this is actually it. This is the last episode of the season. So it's season one. So if you haven't seen any of the episodes, check it out. I'll have it linked in the description down below. With that, I hope you enjoyed not just this episode, but all the episodes for season one. But he saved the best for last. Oh, those are fighting words. I haven't words. seen the others yet, but he saved the best for last. Am I? We're going to say, let's say maybe. Okay. Okay. Reception. Because I don't want to hurt the other guests. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, whoever you are. It's okay. They say it's okay. But with that, you have been watching. These are questions. Good night. Or good morning. morning. Or, no, it depends on where you're watching this. You could be watching this internationally. You could be watching where it's like five o'clock in the morning. It's five or it's somewhere. That's right. It is. So like you never know. Um, are you watching it at noon? Or are you watching it? Um, in like a submarine or something. Cut. I don't know. Don't cut. No, I'm the one that says cut. cut. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm the one that says cut here. Cut. Okay, so I lied about cutting. Um, because oh, I- we're gonna stick this in now. Yeah, we're gonna stick it in right now. Absolutely, because these are questions. Um, so Selena was just telling me that she does graphic artwork and she's done some different cartoon styles. I'm gonna put it in in the video so you can see a little bit of her work. But I just want to talk a little bit about that because you didn't tell me anything about that. Surprise! Surprise! I'm a jack of all trades. Mm, yes. <laughs> So, t- so, so tell me a little bit about why why you do graphic design artwork. What what made you go into it? Like, I think this is a hobby. Just you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, I started messing around with Photoshop and things like that when I was like whew, 14, 15. I was a very lonely teenager because I went to an all girls high school. Oh, well, you did? So, yeah. Oh. oh I, it was just a sad, sad time. But, mm. um, I saw like a bunch of those Photoshop tutorials on like Tumblr back in the day when everyone used to use it. And it was like when people would have like the bootleg version of Photoshop and I just started messing with it and kind of teaching myself little by little. And then I got Illustrator um, by default after yeah. and I started paying for it because I actually really did enjoy using it. And I do all of this with my trackpad because I don't have a proper tablet yet. So if you, anyone wants to fund me and get me a tablet. <laughs> Go but, fund me. 
No, it, yeah. Mm. But no, I do it all with my trackpad. And to me, it's just like a good outlet because there's times where I'm like, I really do wish someone else would do this or that. And then I'm like, well, I should just do it myself. And it kind of is like a self-taught thing that I've always really liked. And I did want to pursue it at one point, like as a profession. But then I realized that would take away from the essence of it being an actual passion. So, yeah. Right. Surprise, I draw. Surprise, <laughs> she draws. And we're talking about cartoons. You didn't mention any of that about it. It's all about drawing. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I hope you enjoyed a little segue there. So now we're actually going to cut. Now we're actually going to cut. Bye, everyone.